Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. A virus happened and I went back to work in a hospital and I had virtually no time for anything ever. So I'm um, doing uh, a little less of YouTube. But thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, I see you, every single one of you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for trusting in me. If you are an English speaker, this is gonna be weird because some of my videos are in German. This is English, so enjoy. Today, I'm doing a foundation paper piecing. And here I have the tools that I need. I do need the paper uh, for the foundation paper piecing. Um, I did print this out like this. And then you have to connect the pieces like this. And what I do, I color them in a little so I know which is which because this piece here is white and this here is colored and so I know uh, what I'm doing. And I need a rotary cutter, an add a quarter ruler. Uh, for this method, this is very important. A glue stick to do this, so I'm done with the glue stick already. And then I need some fabrics. And I did choose these. So, um, as you can see here, these, uh, this is gonna be the colors and this is gonna be the, the stick. So, here's my color choice. To put my hand behind this like a proper influencer. No, I don't have to because I filmed this with an iPhone and um, that's no focus. And the background fabric is gonna be this one because it's always good to have a bolt of fabric that you like. I could get used to buying bolts of fabric because they never run out. Obviously they do run out, but it takes a while and you don't feel bad um, for cutting off a lot of fabric. So pro tip for everybody, just buy bolts and bolts and bolts of fabric. Uh, might not be financially sustainable, but you know, who cares? Um, okay, so let's start. I did cut this out with my paper scissors. I don't need those anymore. What you do want to do is just get some of the fabric in the size that you actually need. So with my method, there's one thing I do differently than you do usually do. What I do is I don't sew through the paper because usually you put this wrong side uh, up on the paper and then you sew through the these different layers on top of here. So there is a mirror image in the end. What I do is I put it on top and I fold back, which I'm going to show you. But that way, I will not get a mirror image. So this ice cream is going to be this way around. Uh, you will see what I mean it in the end. Um, yeah, and then I need uh, um, a lot more of the background. And there comes the bolt. Very handy if you need more fabric. And everybody always needs more fabric. Goody, 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 goody. So let's get this out of the way, shall we? How much do I need? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure there's um, fabric requirements in this pattern somewhere. And ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Excuse my enthusiasm, it is pretty late for me, at least. I um, need to get up early and I want this done today. Good, I got some fabrics. Uh, they're all here. And now I need more machine. My machine! Threading my machine with all fill thread. Because it's lovely. La, 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 la. That's where I keep all my spools. There's one more thing I need that I did not tell you about. I do need some Soline glue pen. Where the... Okay, so let's start. What I do is I fold and I tried this before. Uh, it works sometimes. Uh, so I put some glue on here. Can be a liberal amount. And I'm putting the piece of fabric on top of where I'm supposed to go and just 
and now gluing it down. The first one is the hardest. If this is starched to death, that helps you a lot. Well, which is always starch everything to death. Put the next piece of fabric on top and then just sew next to the paper. Not through the paper, just next to it. Then carefully open this up. Um, no, well, in this case, you need to then use the add a quarter because I didn't do this before. I'm doing this now just to keep everything neat. Okay, back to machine. I put some glue on here on the fabric and then a lot here. And then I'm finger pressing. Also, adjust your stitch length. I didn't do this before. Uh, yeah, 1.6 is fine. Oh, 1 1.8, 1 1.6, okay, good. Finger press. I always want to say finger bang, but you know, that's my filthy mind. Ah, okay, good. Finger press to the side. If you have a hot iron nearby, you can also just iron this. And now what I'm doing, folding it back again to the next side. And then this time I'm uh, just going to cut now. So now I need a bigger piece. This kind of gets me every time. This is the hard part. But this should work. And if it doesn't, you can always rip the seams. Good. Cut this. And then add a quarter. Cut next to here. Then I will see if I did everything right. I'll fold this back here. And I go there. I did glue this down here because you know glue is your friend. Okay, kinda worked. Here's a tiny corner that's not perfect, but who the fuck actually cares? So I'm gluing this. Because what? Glue is your friend. Okay. And now go back, fold again. Check where I have to fold. Oh, there's an, another one. Yeah, so there it is here. I have to fold to C4 here. Add a quarter. In this case, put a quarter off. Then small piece this should work just align this and then so next to the line okay again here some glue does wonders. Then some glue on top of here, some glue there. Uh, by some, I mean a lot. Okay. 
then go back again and fold then cut all of this is much easier without a camera next to you You do need to think a bit more with this version, but you know, thinking doesn't hurt a lot. Good, so like here. Cool. Let's get the glue out. Glue here, glue there. Now I could have used a um, different color of Soline, so it wouldn't show as much. But you know, didn't have it handy. And I'm all about convenience, okay. Some glue, and then comes the easier part. This is just a large straight line. Folding this on the line. rid of this piece of paper. Okay, so I got my other quarter. A wise person once said, um, life's too short, buy the damn notion. That is some philosophy to live by. Good, so back up to the machine. Since this is just a long straight line and I cut a long straight line here, I can just go ahead and put this up here. space okay so I'm just going to cut off some of the excess here and here and then I can fold this sucker here this time I might not use glue because it's not that necessary I'm going to iron this soon-ish. Okay, here I'm just going to hack this. I'm going to do this neatly when this is all done. So yeah, I'm going to use glue. Because what the heck, glue, my friend. Zack, zack, zack. And there's some German for you, zack. Bam! So this is the bottom of the uh, thingy. And now I could cut this neatly. I'm not going to do this, I'm going to do this. Am I? I'm going to do this. Let's cut this. <laughs> For this I'm going to use the big boy ruler.
Okay, so there's one part of the finished block. And I'm going to use this technique for the rest, and I'm going to not talk. I'm just going to do. So I'm going to iron this before I assemble the end. Okay, Okay. so I tidied all of them up, they're still on the paper, and now I'm going to sew them uh, together. The machine. So this is the one part where sewing through the paper actually is an interesting idea that I might... What the hell, I'm going to sew through the paper. And this is important that you now you really do need the tiny stitch length. This is starting to get some shape. Okay. Good. Now I have to iron and then I tear off the paper and then I'm done. To this side easier, less bulky seams, and here again, this side, less bulky, here is a lot of seams right there, so okay, this is uh, the block. Okay, so this is the finished block. As you can see, this is not a mirror image as it would have been with the other technique. Um, and this is what the back looks like. Yep, that's that. Uh, all that needs to be done now is it needs to be quilted. Um, and then this is a lovely little uh, mini quilt. Or I could turn this into a big one. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it now, but this is the technique that I mostly use. And I uh, hope this helps you a little, but you know, this is not a tutorial because I don't really know what I'm doing here, but this is the way I do it. And maybe it helps you a little, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this one, had fun, and maybe come back. Please consider subscribing, commenting down below, give me a thumbs up, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.